Okay, the thing about this chapter, 5.8, is I've really taught you this all along, all about polynomials. Okay, so it's all about polyno polyno polynomials. Okay, real quick, uh, what I can answer this one. If negative 6 is a solution of the polynomial equation f of x equals 0, then negative 6 is a factor? Well, not really. If negative 6 is a solution of f of x equals 0, what a factor will be will be a factor which should be x plus 6. Okay, because if this is f of x, all right, and then if f of x equals 0, what's the solution to this? Well, a solution would be negative 6, because if we put the solution negative 6 in there, then we get a solution is equals 0, and then x would be x plus 6 would be the factor, so that's the confusion there. And now we know about the number of turns, or humps I like to call. It's going to be minus 1 here, so the answer is going to be 3 here. Okay, so if we look, going to look like that. Oh, we're not going to look like that. We're going to look like that. We're going to have 1, 2, 3 humps. Or you're going to have 1, oh, we're going to look the other way, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three humps. And let's look at number eight. Number eight, determine the x-intercepts of the function. Um, that's easy. The x-intercepts are going to be negative three, positive two, and positive five. Simply, we know that the x-intercepts are when this equals zero, when the function y is going to hit negative three, 2 and 5. Choo, choo, choo. Simple. Next one I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to graph this function. Let's say we have negative 3. That's what we know it's going to pause, pass at 3. We know it's going to pass at negative 2 and negative 1. And also I know that the end behavior is going to be going in this direction. So I'm going to come up, come back down, come back up. And that's the best way I can graph it. We probably should find these maximums because we don't know really how high this goes or how high this goes. But at least that's the best we can do for now. We could graph the points if you'd like to. But why don't we just use our graphing calculator? We'll move on to that in a moment right now. If we want to move over here to using a graphing calculator, look at this point. If I'm going to graph it, I'm going to say graph. And Oh, let's see the y equals first. That's the same one, right? And when I graph it, I can look. Oh, it looks like one of the x-intercepts is going to be at 0, comma 0, right? Or just at 0. Um, we can find the other x-intercepts by saying second, calculate, and we can find the zeros. Ooh, we can also find the minimum and the maximum. I'll find a maximum for you. So if I want to find a maximum, we want to find the left bound. press enter, then we find the right bound, so it's going to be within here, and then we're going to guess because there's multiple maximum mins usually, and boom, we have a maximum at 7. Our maximum is 7, or the point is actually about negative 1, comma, 7. We usually like to use the y when we define a maximum or a minimum. All right, excellent. Um, these problems down here are word problems. They give you an equation as this one, and they give you an equation here as this one. You need to use these equations to figure out the answer. They want you to graph it. They want you to figure out some problems. Just graph this polynomial over here between 0 and 30. All right. Plug in the numbers and uh, have a good time with this because this probably shouldn't be too hard. Have a nice day.